This is the introduction to the book Tested and Approved by Tom Lane. How did this book come about? My life has been a series of convergent moments that resulted in life-changing decisions. Along the way, I've learned many lessons. This book is the assimilation of the things I've learned and want to pass on to you. So let me start by telling you about my life. I never imagined I would be in ministry when I committed my life to Christ at the age of 16. My dad was a businessman and I wanted to be in business just like him. With Christ at the center of my life, I wanted to build the largest platform of influence I could to share the truth that a life centered on Jesus Christ has real world benefits in addition to granting us the assurance of life in God's presence throughout eternity. When I graduated from college, I took a position in my dad's business with the desire to live biblical principles for others around me in business to observe and follow for themselves. I knew that representing Christ as my Lord and Savior was part of the biblical mandate for his followers and wanted others to know and experience that a relationship with God is real. It's to be lived 24 seven and it impacts every arena of life. It wasn't a religious message I wanted people to comprehend. It was a relational, life-changing message. With that in mind, I began my business career with the thought it was my ministry for God. I took business transfers to Oklahoma and then to Texas. With each assignment, my wife and I sought out a life-giving, Bible-teaching church where we could put down roots and build relationships. We were honored to be a part of a group in Texas that started a new church. The church began out of the relationships we'd built with other like-minded believers who had the same passion to experience God 24-7 in every area of their lives. We loved God and each other, and the church grew quickly and experienced some amazing miracles as God's hand was on it. About four years into the church plant, with attendance at around 1,000 people, the church was in need of a business administrator, something that I was qualified for with a degree in accounting and seven years of business experience. However, it was not what I thought would be my career path, and I struggled to know the right decision. As I prayed about it, it became clear that God was calling me to fill that role. I left my dad's business and accepted the position as business administrator of Trinity Fellowship, all the while in the back of my mind thinking I would serve in that role for a couple of years, set some things in order, and then cycle back to business. That was more than 36 years ago, and there has been no cycling back to business. In fact, there's been no need to cycle back to business. There's been more than enough business in operating a large growing church to keep me busy and challenged. It, it was a challenging role and a fulfilling one as anything I imagined I would experience as a business leader. All that as background to say, I did not go to seminary. I did not have seminary friends to call upon. I had business friends who were committed believers. They knew biblical principles and they worked hard to apply them to the circumstances of life and to live them all uh, 24 seven. I had no ministry friends to call upon to explain the variety of ministry dilemmas I encountered as my pastoral responsibilities grew. I could have used a guide like this one to help give me principles to apply to the variety of situations I encountered on a daily basis, but couldn't find one. As the years went by, I learned ministry through the school of hard knocks. In the process, my wife and I had four children. I found it interesting that pastoring felt a lot like parenting. It was shocking how many things I learned in life as I walked out my relationship with God that applied to my parenting and became principles I desired, desired to impart to my children. These same principles I found in the Bible and applied to my parenting, I also wanted to pass along to congregants and pastors who looked to me for guidance and input. I began a document that I called Lessons for Life and Ministry. It was a working document that I added to as I learned new lessons. Whenever I learned something and it applied to life and ministry, I wrote it in my working document. The number of lessons grew until today, they are the subject matter of this book. These are the things that I wish I had been told as I developed in my leadership role. My prayer is that they offer insights and principles that you can apply and build upon as you confront life 
uh, and its leadership di dilemmas of your own. Although they are numbered lessons, the number does not signify their order of importance. The length of each lesson does not reflect the hours of prayer and personal trials that have produced the understanding that is being shared in each lesson. I think they are all important lessons to consider and glean from as you apply the biblical concepts presented to your life and its circumstances. I want this material to give you guidance that might shorten your learning curve. May God be with you as he's been with me on your journey.